Welcome everyone to Juno Sweet Just Commentary. So I'm gonna to react to a video entitled Con Thai vs Con Cambodia. Of course, I got this request and I'm not gonna check it out. Of course, don't forget to subscribe, subscribe to Juno Sweet Just Commentary, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter if you want me to react to a video, leave a comment below. Thank you so very much. Let's go ahead. Now it said Con Thai vs Con Cambodia. So that means therefore that the, the dance or the, the cultural movement or dance is in both country so this one is Cambodia why is it a versus though I mean why is why is it a competition if it's a cultural dance isn't Cambodia and Thailand like almost next to each other on the map I think they are Thailand now. Ooh, Thailand. But I they, they do look quite similar. Ooh, that's a nice presentation there. Wow. I'm quite I'm just I'm just wanna see if That, that's a nice presentation right there. Very nice. What is the main difference, guys, between Thai um, corn dance and Ka Cambodia's corn dance? They look the same. Is that a fish tail? Yeah, it looks like a fish tail. Alright, allow me just to watch this map here quickly. I think Cambodia is bordering with Thailand. Yes! It's very close. Actually, it's next to each other. Cambodia and Thailand is like next to each other. So the, the dance and the culture will be almost similar, wouldn't it? Wow. Oh, it's done. And the Cambodian flag is it's got also red, blue and white in it. Except there is like a, a small building in the Cambodian flag. Thailand. Well I can tell you one thing for sure. With, so far that in this video the, the, the Thai corn dance is a grand presentation. The presentation itself is much bigger and more extravagant for sure. I'm always amazed by the tools or the instruments used by the Thai people to make their music. It's so interesting. Yeah, clearly you can see here, Thailand's corn dance is very much grand and much more, um, how would you say it? There's a lot more persons taking part in the Thailand corn dance. And I noticed that the Thai corn dancers, they always, they, most of them, their faces are showing. But I guess all the masks are different. You see again, there's not a lot of persons in this dance. Oh well, their face is showing here too. Oh. Thailand now. And I noticed that for the Thai dancers, their hand 
I don't know how they do it, but they hand bend in a lot more. Like they've got more of that visual slow motion dancing in it. See their hands, it's it's bent a lot more. It's like it's their hand work is amazing. The hand artwork is much more dynamic than Cambodia's. It's also it's elephant also um, highly regarded in Cambodia. Thank you. Oh, the video's over. Oh, the video's over already. Okay, guys, thank you so very much for requesting it. As I said, I noticed here that the corn dance in Thailand is more, much more. There's a lot more participation um, in Thailand. I don't know if it's because of the video itself, but the the presentation had a lot more Thai supporters and performers. And Cambodia. Notice also for the Thai video that they 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 when they're dancing they have more art handwork. You know, like their hands are bent more. They are more into it than Cambodia, where they're moving more of their legs and moving about. Okay. Thank you so very much for requesting. Now let's subscribe to Juno's with Just Country. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. And I learned something new today. Cambodia and Thailand they're basically bordering each other on the. Um, borderline they're yeah, next to each other. Thank you so very much. Bye guys In this video, I'll talk about the investment in Dominica's real estate and answer the question if it's profitable to invest in real estate in the first place. I'll also take you through the current situation in the real estate market, name the government approved projects and the number of issued passports. The Dominican Citizenship by Investment program was launched in 1993, however, it gained its popularity only in 2015 after the EU countries have signed a visa-free agreement with Dominica. About 12,000 passports have already been issued to foreign investors. The investor is able to obtain Dominican citizenship by investing at least $200,000 in real estate. Keep in mind that the real estate object you invest in must be included in the list of government-approved investment projects. Here are five promising options. Jungle Bay Villas is an eco-friendly resort in the south of Dominica. Prices for luxury sea view villas start at $255,000. All villas are managed and marketed by an award-winning boutique hotel brand with 10 plus years of operating a profitable and successful Caribbean resort. The owner and the managing company share the income 50-50. The investor will be allowed to live free of charge in the resort one week per year, as for the remaining time, the villa will be rented out. The resort is to be commissioned in 2018. Cabritz Resort Kempinski is a 160-room hotel located at Douglas Bay between the Cabritz National Park and the community of Tan Tan. A minimum investment of $220,000 into the project will entitle the investors to the citizenship of Dominica. Secret Bay Residence is an award-winning boutique resort with just eight sustainable luxury villas and bungalows immersed in nature. The residents are available for whole and partial ownership in exchange for citizenship. The Silver Beach Development is a 200-room luxury, eco-friendly, five-star hotel. Investors have two options to buy a percentage of the property contributing at least $220,000 or to purchase a Calypso Suite starting price $300,000 or a Swim Up Suite starting price $320,000. The suite owner will be able to personally use it two weeks per year. Tranquility Beach Dominica is a prestigious, environmentally sensitive residential resort of first-class accommodation quality. The resort will join Curio A Collection by Hilton, a global set of remarkable hotels handpicked for their distinctive character and personality. One can purchase a percentage of the property, contributing at least $220,000 for a two- or three-bedroom villa, a one- or two-bedroom condo suite for at least $200,000. As for the investment options, 8 out of 10 applicants choose contribution to the government fund. 
By investing in Dominica's real estate, one is eligible to obtain a Caribbean passport that opens the doors to the following advantages. 1. Visa-free travel around the world. 2. Asset protection. The passport holders can open accounts in reliable European banks. 3. Tax advantages. Dominica has no world income, capital gains or inheritance tax. 4. This is an opportunity to obtain long-term visas to the US and Canada. 5. Strict confidentiality. No details about second passport deals are disseminated to third parties, and there is no requirement to reside in the country.